Marcel, tu peux te dire les gens là pour la porte Allô Hello? 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 Keep quiet. Hello. Thank you. 
Hello, good morning guys. I am audible to you. If you are able to listen my voice, please text in chat box. Yes, I am audible to all of you. Two students are joined there. If my voice is audible to you, please comment your comment in chat box. Okay, thank you, Arpita. Thanks, Professor Shudas Munde, sir. Join fast. And text your friend to join the session. We will wait five minutes till join uh, at least ten to twelve students, Good and we'll continue. Good. There is a humble request to all of you who joined the session. Please introduce yourself in the chat box. Your name and uh, whether you are um, appearing for CET or ELCT again. Kindly text your message in chat box.
that we can provide the information and the syllabus and the exam pattern regarding the ELCT exam as well as BRCT. It will be a little bit help to us to organize the webinar or the guidance session according to your requirements. That's why there is a humble request to all of you. Please introduce yourself in the chat box. We are eagerly waiting for your response. Okay, thank you Arpita. You are appearing for BCT as well as ELCT exam. Yes, is it right? Rita Mehar. Rita, are you going to appear for ELCT as well as BCT? You are appearing for both papers, na? Thanks, Rita. You are also appearing for ELCT. For the student of ELCT, there is a separate question paper regarding English language teaching test, which include reading comprehension, vocabulary focus, grammar focus, sentence formation, phonetics, verbal idioms and proverbs, figure of speech, etc. These all topics are related to the syllabus of ELCT. And the total question paper of ELCT will be based upon the English language teaching competency. Good morning, Ranjita. Thanks for your valuable feedback and joining the session. Within a few minutes, we will start our guidance session regarding the BRCT and ELCT also. Hi, Dipali. Good morning, Reshma Jagtap. Kindly mention your name and whether you are appearing for CT or ELCT.
Thanks, Rita. You are also appearing for beer seating. We will wait few minutes for joining other guys and we'll continue the session. Good morning, Pranav Bhusle. Good morning, Dipali. Good morning, all of you, the guys who are joined the session regarding the BRCET organized by Jaivan Shikshan Prasarak Mandala, Jaivan Rao Savant, College of Education, BEAD. We are providing here a guidance session regarding BRCET and ELCT also. I, Professor Archana Raut, heartily welcomes you on the platform of JSPM's BEAD College. All of you, you know the preparation regarding your beard admission process is on the way from the month of March near about. And your exam is going to be held on 21st, 22nd and in some cases on 30, uh, 23rd of this month. So, there is a need, there is a requirement to throw a glance on the syllabus of BRCT and to go through the, how the question will be asked in your exam paper regarding various aspects of your syllabus. There are various topics related to the teacher ability, mental ability and your English language teaching test. While you are going to become a teacher, to be a teacher, you have to be well acquainted with various abilities. And these abilities are tested, tested hereby with the help of this exam. Okay. In this session, I going to talk or uh, going to discuss with you regarding the topic introduction to the beer syllabus of beer CT and teacher aptitude. There are some abilities, there are some aptitude. As a teacher, we have to acquainted with each and every ability of a teacher. The ability may be related to your content knowledge. The ability may be related to your psychological knowledge also because in your class there will be various students from various background and their problems may be differ from each other as a teacher you have to understand personally the problem of student and for that's why you have to acquainted with the teachers teaching aptitude and in this test there are various questions regarding the teacher aptitude as well as language teaching as well as mental ability and your ability to stand over the class. In the second session, Professor Dr. Kamre sir will be discussed with you upon the mental ability and the session remaining regarding the beard syllabus. Here we can see for the beard syllabus, 
only for B.Ed. C.E.T. there will be 100 questions of 100 marks and the content are as teacher ability or teacher ability, uh, aptitude and the total number of questions will be asked on the topic will be 30 for 30 marks each question carries one mark and there is no negative system so that you can attempt each and every question of your question bank because there is no risk of negative marks then the second topic is related to the general awareness of general uh, or general knowledge means the incident happening around us at uh, international level at national level and state level also some in incidents may be related to the ro uh, local and the number of question will be again 30 and the marks will be again 30 then the course, uh, course of mental ability is for 40 marks the question numbers will be 40 for that specific uh, aspect of your syllabus here again i repeat the, these uh, features of this test duration of maharashtra beard ct is 90 minutes number of questions will be 100 and are all types means the all questions will be of mcq types that's multiple choice questions there is no negative mark system uh, is for the uh, same exam the language of questions will be in english as well as marathi means each and every question will be translated in both languages the pattern of the paper the question paper will be classified into the following three points we are already discussed about that is mental ability general knowledge and teacher aptitude the mark distribution is as follows 40 30 and 30. here we will see detail syllabus and content of this brct exam brct's exam for 2022 and 2021 is same for that's why here is you can you may say uh, see here 20 and 20, 21 is written here uh, on the basis of your general knowledge you can attempt 30 questions means the questions may be day-to-day uh, -day life's incident or the main incident uh, regarding the election regarding the political aspect of uh, our nations or, and uh, states also national and international levels uh, past and current uh, affairs uh, will be included in the specific pattern and in the mental ability the content of this test aims to judge your response according to your ability to solve various questions your ability to judge a judgment regarding specific events and to change how accurate you are you can think you can solve the specific problem and this test will contain questions based on the series uh, for example uh, there may be alphabetical series there may, may be numerical uh, series uh, syllogism is uh, there again coding and decoding types questions you may you can see there the relationships blood relationships questions depend upon this topic you may see in in the mental abilities question then analogs classification uh, problem on dice and and uh, either the verbal or non-verbal form may be the question will be formed in your uh, exam paper and the part of this mental ability for four is for 40 marks and uh, professor kamre sir uh, will be discussed with you on the same topic i here uh, is uh, stand for to discuss the topic with you that is a teacher aptitude and is for 30 marks and the 30 percent of your syllabus uh, may be included in the um, specific topic the main test aims to know your capacity to become a teacher i already see you that when you are going to become a teacher to be a teacher and when you are going to stand for in your classroom in front of a number of child you have acquire some basic skill to become a teacher the skill may be based upon the psychological knowledge it may be based upon the philosophical knowledge and your attitude towards the children how it is it 
aims to test the specific skills. It will contain questions related to your needness to update your knowledge, means your content knowledge will be tested here. If you are a student of science and you have completed your BSc or MSc in specific stream, the knowledge regarding school syllabus of science subject will be tested there or social science subjects knowledge will be tested there means as a teacher how you can keep your knowledge update it is the main aim to test then leadership qualities awareness about changes in education means nowadays our government is planning to uh, implement the uh, national education Pro policy in 2090 and what are the main features of that specific policy what are the profits? What are the loss of a certain uh, educational event or educational effect? As a teacher, we have to acquainted with all these aspects. As well as the teacher aptitude test aims towards to check, to test your communication with your student, your communication with your colleagues, your communication with your uh, parents uh, also and your pro professional commitment. As you are aimed to become a teacher, you are a nation builder. The parents hand, you, hand over their future, their child in your hand for their betterment, for their whole personality development. And for that's why we have all these, we should ha have all these capacities, qualities regarding to become a teacher. Here I will show the slide to you regarding the syllabus of ELCT. The ELCT topics included reading comprehension for 20 marks, vocabulary focus for 5 marks, grammar focus for 8 marks, sentence formation for 7 marks, phonetics for 3 marks, uh, verbal idioms and proverbs for 5 marks, figure of speech for 2 months. In this specific area, your EL uh, ELCT syllabus is bifurcated over 50 marks. Student, uh, I here uh, request you to, if you have any uh, queries, any issues regarding the syllabus, if you can't understand any topics or uh, any aspect of the syllabus, you can uh, comment, you will comment in chat box. And that's why I can read the chat box and uh, try to solve all the queries. The ELCT will be also comprises multiple choice type questions uh, with four options. Again, there is no negative system. The test duration will be of 60 minutes. Medium of CAT is only English because you are going to uh, opt or attempt here only ELCT that is regarding the English language teaching competency test and the mode of examination will be online. The exam centers are already allotted to you. few things regarding the attempt of exam I want to clear here. You are requested to reach at the exam center before one and a half year. One and a half hours, no? Minimum one and a half hour before you have to reach there. You have confirmed your center and while going to going to the exam, you should carry with you your Aadhaar card or PAN card or driving license, any identity proof that may help to identify your uh, hall tickets photo and your photo on your I card and your name also may be cross checked by the uh, exam conductor. The student which changed their name for exam and their name may be differed on the i cards kindly keep 
your i card of same name with you and one past four size photo is also needed there for the attendance purpose is it clear guys now we will go for our topic that is concept of ability the main word or the main purpose of our uh, cet exam that is to check various abilities to check various qualities of the student first of all we you have to know what is the meaning of ability the ability may be of various types it may be physicals or it may be mental abilities and it requires skills each and every ability require skill for this uh, you can take a simple example of cooking also or drawing or making any craft it should needed some skill to do something easy or to do something most beautiful the ability is needed in each and every field the ability means power or capacity to do or act physically mentally legally morally and financially same in the case of teaching uh, field there are needed some abilities there are types of abilities according to the stephen robbins abilities and individuals capacity to perform the various tasks in a job wherever you are going to present any task the ability is needed there are two types of ability the abilities may be intellectual abilities to solve a, a critical problem to act a critical analysis of any concept we have intellectual abilities help there the abilities may be as well as physical which organizations look for employees to have and depend upon the job requirement when you go uh, for a interview purpose the interviewer also check your physical abilities and intellectual ab abilities uh, by the certain test or writing test or uh, your demonstration lessons means abilities are required for any task in our human life then what is teacher ability to be an effective teacher you need at least three abilities the abilities may be related to your classroom management the ability may be related to your leadership quality the ability may be related to your uh, attitude to see your student your humor to see the to see any problem in front of you then the ability related to teaching skills means here here your content knowledge your teaching ability is important the ability to impart knowledge subject knowledge content knowledge is also related for that purpose your mastery or the content is important to solve these questions of teacher ability there are 10 best skills of a teacher if you are going to become uh, a teacher the 10 skills are necessary to acquire to you that is critical thinking skill why there is important to acquire the critical things because as a teacher in day to day life there may be raised various questions regarding the uh paper setting the paper setting uh, checking to defer the student uh, to take efforts regarding their whole personality development that's why the critical thinking skills is very important apart from that you cannot become a successful teacher then the patience is also very important in the life of teacher there may be various challenges because today's era is a digital era the knowledge the technology are growing very fast and to face all these challenges efficiently we have a great power of patience 
it may help us to become a successful teacher than the communication skill. How can we succeed as a teacher without communication skill? In day-to-day -day life, we communicate with our students, we communicate with our colleagues, we communicate with our staff members, we communicate, uh, communicate with our higher authorities, as well as we have to communicate with our parents. We, and they are from various types of backgrounds. Their problems are different from each other. And as a teacher, we have the efficiency we have the skill we have the we should have the skills regarding the communication to each and every member that is related to or that is connected to the education era then the organizational skills in what aspect organizational skills helps you as a teacher from the starting of your school day there is an assembly then there is your classroom interactions are, are there you have to arrange various uh, co-curricular and extracurricular activities also there and as a teacher you have to organize all this that's why there is a need there is a requirement of that particular skill to also then creative thinking ability to do something new to do something advanced to do something challengeable the creative thinking ability helps us as a teacher. Then leadership skills, capacity for teamwork. You know the importance of capacity of teamwork. Then computer skills, conflict resolution skills. These all skills are very important or a vital part of our life as a teacher. There are some qualities. Now we are going to discuss the qualities of a good teacher. And your questions, the part of your test paper regarding teacher ability or teacher aptitude will include all these qualities or the questions regarding the good qualities. Good at setting goals means you have to set a certain goals and clarity in communication you have to communicate very clearly very simply and very generally with each and every uh, person which communicate to you as a teacher, you are a role model for society because there are various personalities, there are various models in our society. We see the actor are role model. Why the actor are role model? Why teacher are role model? Because their work regarding the nation building is very important. Each and every person from the society is looking forward to you as a role model that's why our nature our character our behavior should be ideal for each and every student of us adaptable the teacher should be adaptable means your attitude towards new conditions new aspect which are in front of you or the various is issues are in front out of you in cases you have to be adaptable positively then preparedness preparedness is most important factor in teachers life we have to prepare for extra co-curricular activities co-curricular activities other curricular activities our belonging to the society our belonging to our family our student as a family school as a family we have to be prepared to help to do some task to do some new work and the teacher may be prepared each and every time in his life Practice as a self-reflection. It's the most important quality. As a teacher, 
we can practice because student are looking us as their model then how our actions affect them how our actions impress them impress them and so that's why we are the role model we are the because they are going to imitate us as a role model that's why we have to be practice as a self reflection we have to promote our children positively to learn each and everything these qualities of a teacher we can see imagine any of your uh, previous teacher of uh, it may uh, he or she may be uh, your higher secondary level teacher your primary teacher your uh, college teacher we see all these qualities in that particular person and that's why he is ideal for us and when we are going to become a teacher all these qualities are required by the student by the society by the parents from us and the all questions of this part of your syllabus b r c t r depends upon this i mentioned one thing again here that when you are going to tackle all these type of questions regarding the mental, uh, regarding the teachers ability or teacher aptitude you should have a positive attitude to see the questions the questions may be related to the reflection of your various qualities in the student the questions may be related to the classroom management the questions may be related to various abilities of a teacher the questions may be related to the discipline all these aspect of the teacher qualities and teacher abilities you may see here there are some types of questions and their answers are also mentioned here and the questions are from previous years b r c t question papers i will so show you here uh, kindly read the questions or i will read the question and you have to text your answer in chat box is the slide regarding the question and answer is visible to you yes here is a question ma'am can we carry phone no you cannot carry phone with you in the exam center your bag may be outside of your exam center you have to carry only one black or blue pen for the sign of your in uh, on your presenty sheet or your attendance sheet your hall ticket one id proof and your passport size photo that's it only these things are required for in the exam center read the question that is most important work of a teacher is to organize teaching work to deliver lecture in class to take care of children to evaluate the student what is the correct answer
these type of questions you may see your in your exam paper or in your question paper yes ruchi sometimes very confu confusing the answer a or b yes means you are near about the answer to evaluate the student d to evaluate the student d yes 5d is correct answer specify it 5d is correct answer yes pranav a is the correct answer but specify why a is correct answer when we are going to see the question most important work of a teacher is the option are to organize teaching work to deliver lecturing class to take care of children to evaluate the students what is the correct answer specify the students who answer d specify the reason why d is correct and how you judge the option yes thank you for your feedback mamta teacher is still strength of student okay all aspect a is the correct answer listen carefully a is the correct on answer of this question because to organizing teacher work under the title of organization or under the title of organize under the concept of organize all these aspect all these remaining aspect comes means delivering lecture is a task of organizing teaching work then care, taking care of children is also a task of organizing teaching work and evaluating of student is also a task of organizing teaching work so that to organize teaching work is the correct answer your view to see the question should be broad and positive which is major aspect in the options a b c d organization is a major of, of aspect and these topics delivering lecture caring of a children evaluating student are under uh, are under the concept of organizing so that's important there is a a option is correct answer then look at the question question number 3 at primary level it is better to teach in mother language or to teach in mother tongue why it is better to teach in mother tongue and the option are as follows it develops self confidence in children it makes learning easy it is help full in intellectual development it helps children in learning in natural atmosphere
can anyone is going to answer this question at primary level it is better to teach in mother language or mother tongue why it is necessary to teach in mother tongue it develops uh, confidence in children it makes uh, learning easy c it is helpful in intellectual development or d it is children it helps children in learning in natural atmosphere what is the correct answer Yes. Yes, D is the correct answer. It helps children in learning in natural atmosphere. If the atmosphere of uh, our family and school may not differ from each other, the children can learn easily the task provided to him or her so that at primary level it is better to teach in mother language mother or mother language because it helps children in learning in the natural atmosphere d is the correct answer d d is the correct answer listen carefully d is the correct answer again the question which may be takes you in a dilemma that is women are better teacher at primary level because nowadays we can see there are number of women teacher or lady teachers at a primary level why we prefer the same and the options are they behave more patiently with children they are ready to work with low salary higher qualification is not needed in this profession or they have less chances in other profession yes try to answer the question and mark your answer in chat box Ruchi, Rita Meher, Arpita, Supriya, Chinmay. Yes, the answer is A. They behave more patiently with the children. There is no need to specify the answer. Is it right? Women are better teacher at a primary level because they have, they behave more patiently with the children. In teacher ability, in teacher aptitude, the aptitude or the ability is totally depends upon the skills. The skills may be like as explanation skill to explain the various concepts. The teacher should have good acquainted with the explanation skill. The questioning skill is also there. And the blackboard writing is very important skill for a teacher and the question is raised upon the same skill what is most important file writing on blackboard and the options are good writing clarity in writing writing in big letters writing in small letters what will be the right answer
yes try to answer the question pillai then shushma arpita good luck who is good luck chinmay yes all of you your answer is right and the right option is b that is clarity in writing there should be clarity in the writing the next question a student comes late in your class then as a teacher you will inform to parents you punish him see try to know the reason not pay attention there what will be your action as a teacher in your classroom while a student comes late in your class yes shushma supriya The student who answered C try to know the reason please specify your answer Supriya Kirti good luck Pranav please specify your answer in chat box Arpita Swapnil specify your answer It may broaden your view to look up each and every problem in your life while working as a teacher specify your answer why you select answer c anyone there is no reason why you select the answer c the option c yes rushi will check actually what happened with the child and what is the reason behind the activity or the task why he comes to college or school late as a teacher we have to know or we have, we should try to know the reason of coming late of that particular guys nice very nice response very nice feedback all of you very good knowing the reason is necessary exactly knowing the reason behind the coming late is necessary here again the seventh question is it is advantage of giving homework that student what is the reason behind the giving homework by a teacher remain busy at home means the children should uh, maybe busy in doing homework at home then study at home may be checked for their progress or may develop habit of self study what is the exact reason behind giving the homework
एस रुचि अग्रवाल सुषमा सुप्रिया पार्थ पिल्लई देन नरेंद्र चिन्मय यस पी प्रणव यस द आंसर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज इट मे हेल्प द हैबिट ऑफ सेल्फ स्टोरी इन द स्टूडेंट सो दैट द टीचर ट्राइज टू क्यू होमवर्क द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट ट्रेट ऑफ अ स्टूडेंट इज एंड द ऑप्शन आर ए सेंस ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू स्पीक ट्रूथ कोऑपरेशन और ओबीडियंस Yes, Rushi. Very, very good, Rushi Agarwal. So that children will practice more and gets in habitual. It may be habitual for them to study. The next question that is the most important trait of a student is sense of responsibility, to speak truth, cooperation, obedience. the student who answer d please specify your answer and who gave the answer uh, option as a a please specify your answers there should be a reason why you select the specific option sense of responsibility is the right answer as a human being we should have the sense of responsibility and under the sense of responsibility we will do right actions means we can follow the orders of uh, elders we can behave with our uh, peers cooperatively we can speak truth but when then and then only when we have the sense of responsibility while tackling these questions we have a broader view to see the question and your attitude should be positive positively see the question and try to tackle the questions your all responses are very and you are very um, sincerely attempting each and every questions and these efforts will make you success in your test here i already provided the answers uh, from nine questions uh, here you have to only specify why the answer is given right the purpose of basic education scheme do you know about the basic education scheme who started it why started it and the features of basic education scheme the purpose of basic education scheme is 
a universalization of primary education to a vocationalization of the education to fulfill the basic need of a person through education or to make education compulsory to all and the right answer is option c to fulfill basic need of a person through education is the right answer and that is the purpose of basic education scheme no no d d was not the answer to make education compulsory the basic education scheme specify specify if you are saying the answer c is correct then specify your answer we have to know the reason behind it This type of questions will be in your exam, C B or C T exam. So please try to specify why D is the correct answer to make education compulsory to all. Then there should be the education, free education to all of you. Yes. fulfill basic need of a person through education is the right answer because the basic education scheme all these are reasons in universalization of primary education vocational education to make education compulsory all but the basic feature basic purpose to fulfill all the basic personal needs of a person through education is the correct answer Yes, everyone has the right to to get education, but the purpose of behind these activity that is basic education scheme we have to justify here. The next question. you are teaching a topic in class and a student ask a question unrelated to the topic what will you do as a teacher because when you are working as a teacher in your class there are various types of children they can ask related unrelated question they can do anything which is not acceptable in your class they can spoil your discipline of a class and as a teacher you have to tackle all these types of children in a certain situation that you are teaching a topic in class and the student suddenly stand out ask a question unrelated to the topic as a teacher what will be your action yes you will answer the questions after the class as a teacher what will be the action or reaction to the students question the options are you will allow him to ask unrelated questions no because your class discipline may be spoiled and the continuation the chain of your learning teaching learning process will be spoiled then you will not you will not allow him to ask unrelated questions no 
it is also against the teaching qualities you will consider it indiscipline and punish him no again it is against your teaching qualities and teacher aptitude you will answer the question after the class it is the proper activity or it is the proper reaction to the action of that certain student yes making kid understand after the class can make him understood and the class is also not disturbed it is the proper answer yes it is responsibility of a teacher to clear the doubts of a children means if the topic is related or unrelated but as a whole personality when we seeing towards her or him we are responsible or we are accountable to clear each and every doubt of a student so that you can answer the questions after the class yes the next question is as to maintain interest among student in class a teacher should yes very good feedback no question is silly question but to continue with the flow of a topic and not to disturb the class entire class you will ask that student to park the question and you can answer the question after your class yes very nice feedback all of you then we are going to the next question that is to maintain interest among the student in a class as a teacher what can we do or what should we do use blackboard use the discussion skill tell stories ask questions what aspect what action can build the curiosity of a children what will be the prob yes ask questions option d is the right answer you can ask questions randomly or continuously to build the curiosity among the class the next question the purpose of a new education policy nep that is new education policy is the option is a to provide equal opportunity of education to all to improve the whole education system to link the education with employment to delink the degree with education what will be the correct answer the purpose of new education policy Yes. Which answer is flowing in chat box? Question number twelve or eleventh? national education policy to provide the purpose of national education policy to provide equal opportunity of education to all or to improve the whole education system to link the education with employment or to link the degree with education yes 12th uh -huh. answer the question number 12th Do you go through the national education policy, uh, new education policy, twenty nineteen? What is the purpose? There are various amendment regarding the various levels education. There are amendment regarding the uh, 
प्राइमरी प्री एजुकेशन देन देर आर अमेंडमेंट रिगार्डिंग द हायर सेकेंडरी एंड सेकेंडरी एजुकेशन देर आर वेरियस अमेंडमेंट रिगार्डिंग द टीचर एजुकेशन पॉलिसी ऑल्सो देर आर वेरियस अमेंडमेंट रिगार्डिंग द वोकेशनल एजुकेशन ऑल्सो देर हाउ यू आंसर बिकम टू प्रोवाइड इक्वल अपॉर्चुनिटी टू एजुकेशन टू ऑल आई एम आस्किंग आई एम डिस्कसिंग रिगार्डिंग न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी यस again uh, i going to tell you one thing uh, while you tackling the question while you uh, selecting the right option uh, one strategy will help you first of all carefully read the question then try to eliminate the option there are four option given to you and from these four option initially you have to eliminate one by one options and it remains the correct options in the particular questions the option d to delink the degree with education is the uh, option going to um, become a correct answer d no to link the education with employment only do link with education with employment may not be the proper reason or may not be the purpose of educational policy and to provide equal opportunity of education to all it was a basic feature regarding the basic education policy here b is the correct answer yes arpita then ranjit or ranjita b is the correct answer to improve the whole education policy because i tell you that there are various amendment regarding the various levels of progress or improvement is it clear yes thanks thanks a lot the next question to raise the standard of education it is necessary what is necessary thing to raise the standard of education is it it is first option is to evaluate student continuously b to give high salary to teachers to revise curriculum to make good schooling school building to evaluate student continuously may not be the right answer because evaluation or assessment of a student is for their betterment of educational progress or academic progress then to make good um, school building it is not also a proper answer of that particular question to give high salary to teachers it may not be raise the standard of education so that the option c that is to revise the curriculum because according to the need and the requirement of society the requirement of era time period we have to revise our curriculum okay so that the question number 13's right answer is option c that is to revise the curriculum is necessary for the raise of standard of education next question what is the most important for a teacher there are four options to maintain discipline in the class is important for a teacher to be punctual in the class to remove difficulties of student or to be good orator yes exactly to get rid of the traditional way of teaching it should be student led or student oriented classes should be there and that's why we have to revise our curriculum nice justification
the next question why students should play games in school we know that there are various extracurricular and co-curricular activities in class nowadays as a teacher we have to organize all these activities but what is the purpose behind it why students should play games in school as a teacher our view to see the question what is it makes them physically strong it makes work easier for teacher means and third one is it helps in passing time or it develops cooperation and physical balance among the student yes it develops cooperation and physical balance in the student that's why playing games in school is necessary or required i think that there is no need to justify the questions all of you very clearly acquainted with the aspect regarding the sports and games the next question family is a means of informal education formal education non formal education or distance education what will be the correct answer there are three types of education that is formal education informal education and natural education non formal education and our family is a means of yes the option a dipali yes p good luck sonam yes your answer is right priyanka simran kumari gita the answer a is right option family is a means of informal education whereas school is a means of formal education and there are various institutes or universities like keshwandrao chavan distance open university that is by cmou provide us the distance education stream also then the next question a teacher can develop social values among the student by a teacher can develop social values among student by option a telling them about great people developing sense of discipline behaving ideally telling them good stories what will be the correct answer yes igno is also providing us the distance education yes what is the difference between informal and non formal education yes yes i want to clear the doubt of uh, smitha deshmukh what is the difference between informal and non formal education informal the education which we learn or adopt from in our family from our elder member of older member of uh, family that is our mother father grandfather or grandmother our uh, elder brother sister we initiate uh, imitate them and got some skills or some new tasks and learn in that way that is informal way of education means there are no efforts for 
teaching learning in teaching learning process process and non formal non formal is a very easy way to understand or learn anything means naturally these things we learn there is no need to imitate though no need to learn no need to uh, take any efforts to teach us uh, learn uh, some that particular thing is a non formal educations marathi madhe apan jala sahaj shikshan asa mhanto natural education that is non formal informal is anaupacharik and formal is aupacharik shikshan is it clear Eighteen A, telling them about great people. A teacher can develop social values among the student. It is telling them about great people. Yes, all of you, you are selected the right option. That is A for question number eighteen. The question number nineteen, you can see the right mark on the question. are already here but you have to justify the answer here what will you do in leisure time in school take rest in teacher room as a teacher what can you do in your leisure time uh, read magazines in library or talk to clerks in office or check homework of a student thank you smita all of you if you have any query any issues regarding the teacher ability and the bed syllabus you can ask me in chat box uh, let on we are moving toward our next question what will you do in a leisure time the answer is already marked here but you have to justify the answer that is b read magazines in library to share some valuable articles with student yes we have to update our content knowledge we have to update our knowledge for the purpose to teach the challenging students in our class we have to improvise our general knowledge also and that's why we have to spend some leisure time in library in reading the magazines the next question a teacher ask the questions in class 2 keep the student busy maintain the discipline attract the students attention and teach mam what you will guide to do first ma that is mental ability gk that is general knowledge then or what is stand for or ntr yes attract students attention initially when we ask the students some questions for the introduction of our lesson for the introduction of our lecture we attract the student attention by asking the questions to them then the next question 
you like teaching profession because why you like teaching profession it has less responsibility that's why you are you liking the profession or you are interested in or it is easy that's why you are uh, you select the teaching profession or it provide to more holiday holidays in that particular profession so that you are interested in what is the correct answer you like teaching profession because why you like teaching profession or why you are selected to do beard you are interested in it okay teaching aptitude teaching You can do any part of the test uh, first. You can do uh, teaching ability. You can do mental ability. Which you, uh, on which part you have command, you can solve all questions easily, very easily. That's that part you may select initially, and after that you will attempt the remaining parts. any part any part rushi any part of the test you can do first in paper because there are sections and at a time you can see 100 questions uh, marking scheme is there in your uh, right hand and the computer's uh, left side there are some circles in which you can see uh, which answers are marked There is no passing criteria for beard CET exam because on the basis of your uh, score you can get your choices college the score is important not the cri passing criteria. Each and every question you can revise uh, in your paper. You can solve all questions continuously or skip uh, for revising uh, number of questions if you are not sure for the answer. There are various ways are available to attempt the questions but your patience and your preparation is important. do not submit your test before your time ends mark each and every questions because there is no need uh, there is no risk of minus marks there is no mi minus system that's why there is no risk so you can attend 100 out of 100 questions there Now can we move towards our next question that is to whom the responsibility of organization of curricular activities should be stored with and the answer is principal the teacher who is appointed for this work the teacher who take the interest in are all the teachers the responsibility of organization of curricul uh, cu curricular activities store, should be stored with the principal then when the student try to solve the questions in some different ways as taught by the teacher from prescribed book then these students should be discouraged not at all suggested to talk with their teacher after the period not at all 
suggested to follow the classroom notes in order to get more ma good marks in the examination not but they should encourage to consult some other books on the subject that is that may be the proper answer or the correct answer of the question thanks thanks a lot lushi likewise there are uh, various questions uh, i in, in will read and mark the answers uh, it will also a little bit help to tackle your teacher's aptitude the next question is the experienced teachers do not require the detailed lesson plan of a teacher be, uh, because they can teach in a good manner without it help the number of curious students is very poor in the class the when they commit some mistakes they do not face any challenge from the student and the option d is they can equip themselves with brief outline as they gain specialization in through experiences thorough experiences and that is the right answer d the experienced teachers do not require the detailed lesson plan because initially you have to do detail lesson plan from micro teaching and integration lessons and their technology based lessons are there then simulation lessons are also there but the experienced teacher need not require the detail lesson plan because they can equip themselves with the brief outline as they gain specialization in the in thorough experiences because practice makes man perfect so that's they can only require the outline of the lesson plan the problem of dropout in which students these types of questions you are going to see in your actual exam paper do you want um, all the questions which i have prepared there are near about 40 questions i have prepared for the sam as a, uh, as a sample of a teacher attitude and teacher aptitude if it is required to you i will share the ppt with you it will be helpful to your preparation for your preparation tell me the ideal teacher is who is the ideal teacher what is the role of a teacher the teacher teaches the whole curriculum his helps his students in learning is a friend philosopher and guide maintain good disciplines the teacher should a friend as well as a philosopher as well as a guide to the student and that teacher only can be an ideal teacher Okay, sure. Yes, yeah, sure. The ideal teacher. teaches the whole curriculum it helps the student in learning is a friend philosopher and guide uh, sorry the question is repeated again by me it's my mistake 
the aim of education should be to develop vocational skills in uh, skills in the student to develop social awareness in the student to prepare the students for examination to prepare the student for practical life what will be the aim of education according to you hurry up please fast give me the answer here the answer is already shared that is to prepare the student for the practical life it it is the broader view of education and that is the final or basic purpose of your whole education system the best method of checking student homework is to check by the teacher himself in a regular way there are various small practices are uh, done in this field so that these questions uh, here to be aware you uh, of these practices to assign it to intelligent student of the class uh, to check the aware answers in the class in group manner to check them with the help of a specific answer these all three practices are not proper but to check by the teacher himself in regular way it is the right answer the best method of checking students homework is yes the next question the priority to girls education should be given because why the priority to girl education is given nowadays there are various campaign regarding the uh, girls education the girls are more intelligent in comparison than the boys the girls are lesser in number than boys the girls were badly discriminated in favor of boys in the past or the only girls are capable of leading for social change and the right option is the girls were badly discriminated in favor of boys in the past and that's why nowadays the priority to girls education should be given the next question what would be your approach if a student interrupts in your class as a teacher you will assess his reasons to the to do the same as a teacher the action or the reaction should be proper in the class out the class also how would you prefer to address the student who has not completed his homework fain are going uh, when you are going to complete it who did you not to do try it why did you not complete it means here how would you prefer to address the student means your attitude is checked by these questions how you react to the children or how you behave with your class students school should be concerned with the development of child which should include and the right option is acquisition of life skills by the child the life skill acquisition is most vital era the main purpose of parent teacher association in each and every uh, school nowadays we school there is a pta parent teacher association there are certain meetings of the parent teachers also what is the purpose behind the pta keep the student in class con check uh, class control or check the student collect additional funds for remedial teaching share understanding of the problems faced by the school or d innovate involve parents for uh, improvement of school functioning and d is the right answer because involvement of parents is also uh, important for the betterment of the or the, for the improvement of uh, school functions the next question student gives a partially correct response to your questions then as a teacher what can you do seek further information provide reinforcement reframe your questions tell the correct information what will be the correct actions of you as a teacher when a student gives a partially correct response to your questions you have to provide reinforcements you have to motivate motivate that particular student to answer properly okay next school can be called a social agent if 
it transmits knowledge it educate about right and duties it imparts knowledge about traditions and values it organizes various activities school is a means of social change that's why the organization of various activities are important according to the social change then 37th questions a student want to share his problem with his teacher and visits the teacher for the same at his home in such a situation the teacher should extend the reasonable help and boost the moral is the right answer tackle the questions by eliminating the options it will be the right way to tackle any question yes sir the last not the least the 14 questions i uh, i want to discuss with you teaching aids are useful because they help teachers work activate all senses help students to be attentive make learning more meaningful and the right option is make learning more meaningful that is very important as a teacher so that teacher uses teaching aid in their teaching learning process so that's it you if you have any questions regarding the same you can text me i will give you five minutes time for discussion and try to solve all the queries thanks and all the best Welcome all of you. The next session of uh, Professor Dr. Kamri sir will be sharp at 1, 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock. After the lunch break. You can also take lunch break. Yes, you can also take lunch break. And after that we will meet, uh, meet in next session at sharp 2 o'clock. Yes, welcome, welcome all of you. Smita, Namrata, Arya, yes, P, Deepali, yes. Thanks a lot. All the best for your exam.